Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So what is a drip? If you've been investing even for a little while or thinking about investing, you may have heard of the drip. Now the drip is a dividend reinvestment plan. This is an option that some brokerages have to where if you own a stock that pays dividends, it will automatically use those dividends that you receive to buy back partial shares of the stock that you own. So let's say you own a company called ABC and ABC, their stock is currently valued at $100 and they pay a dollar dividend. Now because that dollar dividend is paid quarterly, that's actually a 4% dividend that they're paying because it's $4 for the totality of the year. But every quarter you would receive that $1 for every one share that you own. Now because you're only getting a dollar, that means that you can't buy a full share of stock with the $1 worth of dividend that you're receiving from ABC stock. So there are some brokerages that they will automatically reinvest that dollar so that now you will own $101 once that quarter has passed and they've paid their dividend. So instead of owning one share of stock, you would own 1.01 shares of stock. And this is what is known as fractional share investing. Now, most of the major platforms, if you look at TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, big investment platforms like that, they actually have this feature available. But one thing that they don't have is the ability for you to buy fractional shares. Now, just a few months ago, Charles Schwab actually announced that they're now gonna allow people to purchase fractional shares, and they also bought out TD Ameritrade. So I can see that feature coming to TD Ameritrade very soon, but it's not a feature that they had in the past unless you use this drip option in order to automatically reinvest your dividends. Now, there are other applications out there where you can actually buy partial shares of stock just by investing a dollar or maybe five or ten dollars into the stock that you want to purchase. So let's say you only had a dollar to invest and you wanted to put that dollar in ABC stock. If you had TD Ameritrade or E-Trade, you wouldn't be able to invest that one dollar. You would need to use a platform that allows fractional share investing. Now some of the platforms that do allow this fractional share investing are called SoFi Invest, Public, as well as M1 Finance. Unfortunately, with some of these fractional share investing platforms, you can actually reinvest the dividends once you own a stock or once you earn partial shares of a stock. So you will still receive the dividends that you're owed based on the company that you buy and how much dividend they pay out, but those dividends won't be automatically reinvested for you. However, there actually is one option with the company M1 Finance. Now with M1 Finance, it is a free investment app that allows you to purchase partial shares. And the way you invest with M1 Finance is by creating a pie. A pie is a group of stocks that you select. You can choose any individual stocks, bonds, or ETFs that you wanna invest in. And you can also choose any pies that M1 Finance actually creates themselves. So let's say you wanted to invest like Warren Buffett. They have a pie that basically mirrors the investments that Warren Buffett has via his company Berkshire Hathaway. Now, of course, you're not getting in at the exact same time as Warren Buffett, but because his company is a large investor, every quarter they have to announce all of the purchases and all of the sales that they made throughout a specific quarter. And at the end of that quarter, they have to document what those changes were on the SEC website. And so companies like M1 Finance, and there are others out there as well, they will use the details from those SEC filings to then create specific pies or specific groups of stocks in order for other people just like you to invest just like Warren Buffett. And so although M1 Finance technically doesn't have the drip features that companies like TD Ameritrade and E-Trade have, because you have a group of stocks, that are automatically invested to whenever you reach more than $10 in your account, you can actually consider this kind of like a drip account. So if, let's say you have 10 different stocks and maybe only five of those stocks that are in your pie actually pay dividends. Once those dividends add up to over $10, those funds will be automatically reinvested into all of the 10 companies that you have within your M1 Finance pie. So this is one great way to get around the drip feature if you're using a free trading app, maybe like Webull or First Trade, where you can actually trade for free, but you have to buy a whole share in order to invest. 
Now Robinhood is a similar company where you have free trading, but you have to buy full shares. But they did announce last month that they will have the drip feature. However, this feature actually isn't available to the public yet. And because they've taken so long, even with the checking accounts that they announced over a year ago, I don't really know if they're actually gonna have that feature available anytime soon. So if you're a person that's into dividend investing, or if you're thinking about starting your dividend investing journey to make some passive income, then M1 Finance is a great app that you can use to get around the drip features that many of the free trading apps don't have available. And using this feature is actually pretty beneficial, especially if you have companies within your pie that don't actually pay dividends. Because the money in that application will be spread out evenly based on the allocation that you set up. So let's say you put 10% in each of the 10 companies that you have in your pie. When it's time to rebalance, because every time you put money into your M1 Finance pie, it's gonna try to rebalance so that every company has at least 10% of part of your portfolio. The other five stocks, will also benefit from the dividends that are paid from the other five stocks that you have in your M1 Finance pie. So if you've never used M1 Finance or you're not familiar with how M1 Finance works, you can actually check out my tutorial video where I go step by step to show you how to create a pie and how to use the M1 Finance app. And if you're interested in signing up with N1 Finance, I'll have a link in the description and in the comments below so that you can use my link as a referral link to open up account with M1 Finance. In addition, if you saw a recent video where I talked about using dividends to actually pay your bills, specifically I use dividends to pay my visible wireless phone bill, make sure you check that out as just one strategy that you can use to use your dividend stocks and grow those stocks over time to pay even more bills just like the financial independence retire early community does because the great thing about investing in dividend stocks is that your stocks are assets that continuously purchase more assets on their own so if you've ever read the book the richest man in babylon it talks about creating armies of assets and then those armies of assets then create more soldiers to fight for your financial independence and like i mentioned earlier in the video robin hood did announce that they're going to have the drip feature available in the future so once that actually is available i'll create a video to review robin hood and talk more about their drip feature once they actually make it available to us all right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not already a part of the Mobile Money Nation, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.